Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to model this part. Let's start together by opening a new part. Today I am a bit sick and my voice is not great. Sometimes I can pause video, sorry for that. On top plane, firstly we create a sketch. And I'm going to place here some objects from sketch. Circle, if you think how I, if you're wondering how I reached that menu, we make a customize, right click customize, mouse gestures and enable and 12 gestures. After that, you can also reach this menu. You should just click on your right mouse button and just a little bit move your uh, mouse and then you get that menu. Then let's continue. I'm going to create some lines here first. Make them green and this two point symmetric on this axis, and we add there at 30 degree and diameter also 30. That's great. After this operation, we create here one arc, and we are going to add one dimension. We Press our shift while it's pressed. We select two object and then we put here one and a half. First section is done and then we can go to the next one. We go to top plane. On top plane we create here one spline. And we are going to move a bit. Yes, this is good. We make this two object parallel. We just add relations while our control is pressed. In fact, it was the other way around if I'm right, guys. Sorry. This will be like this, and this will be like this. Yeah, this is right now. Parallel. And then values is 20. And I'm having here an angle. Seems this is fully defined, but shouldn't be. We should have here a 70 degree. Yes, that's great. After this operation, we are going to make a circular sketch pattern. Equal spacing is closed. In third degree, we will have a more. And we can keep like how it is, not that much problem. It is not fully defined. After this operation, we are going to next step. On top plane, one more sketch and one more spline. Now this will be the middle of this point. And we are going to look like same. And I am going to create a helper lines for me here, at the 70 degree. Just going to make a tangency. And now I'm going to use that one. We will make a 15 degree on that 70. And again, this two is parallel. And tangency value is 20. Here also 20. Yes, everything is black here also. That's fine. Now let's create other sections. In fact, we can give different color if it is helps to you to show what we did better. Some colors can be nice. Yes, this is good. We have three different sketch and we will have two more. Let's fix first uh, sketch, which is belong to these ones. We click top plane, we go to planes and then we select this object that uh, Construction line, 
first fever we created and then I create the uh, construction geometry and a construction geometry more if you look something like this we could look normal to also to make it easy for you and then later on we are giving here a dimension of uh, four and a half and then an arc just let's leave it somewhere here and we make a tangency later while our control is clicked we add relationships we pick two point and add a coincidence yes then as you see this is, is this is fully defined and we can hide this object now plane and we are going to make a revolt now first and then let's finish our operation we made a revolve with that last object and then with these two uh, spline we will make an extrude extrude phase yes let's keep it at 10 and we are going to make a trim now guys mutual is active surfaces these are surfaces keep selection keep is not nah, remove selection let's make it yes we removed and we have something like this even we can remove this two face also that is yes we have a surface like this and we can for a while hide this one and finish our other operation now we are going to create a sketch on right plane which was passing to our this direction and we are going to create here again a group of lines first section geometry a horizontal and four and a half and now we have a spline which will end in that point i'm clicking my spline and i'm picking my control points firstly while control is pressed we are giving here a parallelism and here we are going to give a, a tangency here we have got a 10 here we have got a 20 and something is missing that's this and we just move that point back and we have got this nice curve here now first operation will be a project curve this curve will be combined this curve and we have got that, that 3d dimensional curve now here and then later on we have a surface the surface we are only created for for this two three-dimensional shape uh, now we can continue on the front plane we are going to create one sketch and i will just add here a point now everything is done and we can start to create our uh, real surface uh, last object was point I select my boundary surface and I select this guy here and then direction right click selection manager one this object selected secondly this selected and selection manager and this selected as you see here we have got a nice surface by the way I click OK wrongly as you see we have got this nice shape and then later on we will hide everything that the rest was just in order to create a curve in fact this is real surface uh, now we click origin 
and we go to reference geometry and run access and we create here by clicking top plane and access for us after that operation we are going to make a circular pattern this is our access this is the body 12 time we make a circular pattern we have got this nice shape we have a lot of surfaces i think some of them we can get rid of by the way i see here an extra surface we just delete it single face cannot be deleted delete face and here a body we delete yes i don't know how we create it here a strange surface as you see i can give a color to make it clear for you if you have some same problem that you can get out of it yes this one probably our boundary operation created that we just delete it okay then we can make a mirror we select our top plane mirror bodies to mirror there is an easy way we come here our body surface body a folder we click first and then we go at the end while she is click everything is selected and then we have got a fully closed surface now operation will be knitting surface we select everything create solid more cap control yeah more need and we click ok and now as you see we have got a solid body now we can start to give our radius and then continue to other operation variable radius uh, size field will be active we will have one control point except starting and ending and we click on this edge first will be zero this first operation no this is 0 0.5 no other way around sorry guys this is zero and this is 0 0.5 yes this is good and now i'm going to select other edges you can try to select yeah this way yeah it is good but except to other one that's good here should be zero and i don't know why program insisting to make half i made again zero we are ever waiting my program to respond no preview and set all I'm selecting and then I'm giving this value. Again, I will make center zero, uh, all ending points saving 0 0.5, and we select OK. And now everything will be reduced. Sorry for my slow computer, it takes a bit time to calculate. and after this operation we will make our side in fact we could create half solid and then make this operation and then a mirror that would be also good but we forget it let me pause video and then we see after it took a while that program gives us radiuses but it's looking nice now we are going to apply same operation to the other side fill it and the variable size will active one control point radius is 0 0.5 first edge no preview and i'm going to select other lines everything is okay Center will be unassigned, 0 
and set all ah, sorry center is zero to rest is 0 0.5 and uh, everything is okay then you just select okay and then wait again we have got here a little problem problem says some things i didn't understand i'm going to control it what's wrong with that or we can really do the way that i said let's cut with top plane the half of part and again making a mirror with body's mirror this will be here perfect sometimes i'm really forgetting we had these comments but we have here a little surface problem but we will try to fix and after this operation we go combine then features uh, combine ah it's already combined with mirror sorry surfaces delete phase we come here and we delete all this surface and delete and patch will be active i will apply this for all uh, corners and meanwhile i will make a pause we don't need to wait i complete the operation i delete all that uh, little surfaces and except to operation model almost done looking very nice and we are going to create one more fillet this will be normal fillet and 0.5 radius we click on our we come to this point on our surface right click select tangency program will select for me all circumreference of this uh, object and then I just click to OK. Then we will just add one uh, little ring to hang it. And the model will be done. Thanks for being with me. Today I have a very really low performance, but I wanted to make a video for you guys. Thanks for understanding. And 2.5 inner radius and thickness is 1. And the height is 18. Everything is black. And we select this. Uh, OK. And then we add 1 millimeter mid plane operation. Merge result active. And then last operation fill it. Select this edge. This will be face. And then we select OK. And it is fully done. And you can give here some nice color metal. Ooh, so shiny. Maybe we can look the other operation, other surface. Yeah. The rest up to you. But it became a nice model. Thanks for watching. If you search something much more challenging, please do visit my channel. You will find enough surfacing videos there. If you like this video, please make comment and hit the like button. See you in another video.